Well, uh, you know, I think your work was really uh, important. It was uh, groundbreaking, and the remarkable piece of it was that uh, uh, no one else picked up on it at the, at the time that you did it. You had really opened opened the door uh, here in the in the United States to study this class of compounds again, and um, and. And it's, it's a little bit of a curiosity that the that uh, no other research centers did so uh, at that time. I think uh, you know your findings were were really interesting, uh, and uh, and it's still we're still just scratching the surface. I mean, one of the remarkable things to me is when we think about pharmacology and the development of new drugs and what's happened over the last forty years. The, you know, the major pharmaceutical manufacturers have literally been spending billions and billions of dollars to develop new drug entities, to look for new therapeutic targets, uh, to, uh, you know, to advance our understanding and, and, and their commercial success. And um, we've developed lots of new methodologies for studying those, and we've refined clinical pharmacology methods for, for doing that sort of thing. And here, you know, it's really curious that we have this class of compounds that produce this unique uh, set of effects, the serotonergically mediated hallucinogens, that, that for really cultural reasons, I mean, because of the trauma that was created in the 60s, I guess, uh, um, for cultural reasons, the whole class of compounds got pulled off the, the clinical bench and no research has gone on, save the few studies that you did, for 40 years. I mean, it's just incredible. You think of the pace of science and what we've learned and what we've acquired. And, and so we, it's like a tabula rasa. I mean, you have this set of compounds that are fundamentally interesting and important, and we're talking about religious experience, but that, that's just the, you know, that's the tip of the iceberg in terms of understanding perceptual effects and other aspects of consciousness. And, we, and we're relatively clueless about it. The preclinical pharmacology has moved apace during that time, so we know a lot more about that. So scientifically, uh, I can't imagine a more exciting area to be pursuing.